Uh, let's look at how they set this part in November 2014, it was question 8. In the diagram, O is the center. Center, center, I think of center theorem. Passing through points A, B, C. And we are given uh, C, A, B is 48, C, O, B is X, and C, 2 is Y, as indicated in this diagram. Uh, that's what we are given. Let's look at the questions. There are only two questions that I want us to do, and then take a break. Determine which reason is the size, of, the size of angle X. Where is angle X? Angle X, angle X is at the center, but I'm given the angle at the circumference. And this one is two times bigger than that one. If that one is 48, I multiply that by two to find the value of angle X. In this particular case, angle X will be equals to 96 degrees. So if this is 96 degrees, but this one is the same as this one, if I'm looking for the value of angle Y. So we know that angle X is equal to 96 degrees. Angle at the center of a circle is twice the angle at the circumference. If angle X is 96, what is angle Y? Remember that angle y, if this is angle Y, this is, this is the radius. This is the radius. That means this angle is the same as this angle. If this is Y, this will also be equals to y. And the next question is looking for angle y. How do I find angle y? We know that angle y plus this angle y plus 96 is equal to 180 degrees. Sum of interior angles of a triangle. How many y's do I have here? Two angle y is equal to 180 minus 96. Let me quick, quickly get that. What is 180 minus, one, minus 96? Uh, 180 minus 96, it gives me 84. This would give me 84. Therefore, y will be equal to 84 divided by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So y will be equal to 42 degrees. That's how you can answer any questions once you've got your theorems right. Thank you.